Now, our next company is within the travel industry, the big, biggest growing industry in the country at the moment. Uh, they've been shouting and screaming for more destinations and more things to do. And here is Zali Burna to solve the issue. David Ort Simonsson. Hello, welcome back. My name, my name is David Ört Simonsson and I'm the CEO of Salibuna. Salibuna's goal is to design and set up a one-man roller coaster down the hills of Kambarnir, which is one of the most traveled areas in Iceland. And furthermore, we will be operating a charming restaurant at the top of the hill with a beautiful observation deck over the south, co south coast and a souvenir shop. But to begin with, I want to tell you a story, a story that began three years ago. Four individuals started their journey as engineering students. Today, three years later, we have learned to work together as one. And what started as a university project has evolved into the company standing in front of you today with the ambitions of building one of the biggest tourist attractions in Iceland. We make up the Salibuna team and we will do anything to see this one-man roller coaster. But we are not the only ones excited about this project. Numerous companies have already shown interest in partnering up with Salibuna. And these partnerships are beneficial for both parties and are essential for us to guarantee a steady flow of customers. Over the past 20 years, the amount of tourists visiting Iceland have grown on average 10% each year. And estimations predict that they will exceed 1 million in either 2016 or 17. And this is, of course, um, this is of course good for the Icelandic tourist industry, but it can also become a problem. The lack of different attractions available for tourists are already showing. And there is a definite need for new experiences all over the country, and especially in the southern region of Iceland, where 90% of tourists visit. Various travel agents have expressed concerns that there's a lack of stopping points across the south coast. We plan on fulfilling those needs with a different approach of servicing both tourists as well as Icelanders in a way that is not time consuming or overpriced. Our plan is to build a complete experience for a wide range of customers in Kampartnir which is located on Highway 1, only 30 minutes from Reykjavik, and right before you arrive in Kveragerði. So, presenting the coaster. As you can see, the only thing needed is a simple seatbelt, and off you go to enjoy your one-of-a-kind experience. What is so fascinating about our roller coaster is that there are no motors involved. It is entirely mechanical, and you control your speed with a handbrake located in your sled. And when you reach the bottom of the hill, buses will be waiting for you to drive you back to your car. But I know what most of you are thinking now. Is it safe? Will I fall out of the sled? Will the sled fall off the track? And won't I need a helmet? Well, if you're asking yourself these questions, then here are the answers. These tracks have been in use and constant development for decades, with over dozens of tracks in over 10 countries worldwide. The company that produces and develops these tracks is called Brandauer, and it's based in Austria. And there have never been any accidents involving people getting injured because of faulty mechanics or any other failure regarding the track. So, if you want the adrenaline out of the ride, you can reach a maximum speed of 40 kilometers an hour, which can be quite the thrill since you are so close to the ground and your surroundings. But on the other hand, if you simply want to enjoy the beautiful view over the south coast of Iceland, you can glide down our 1,250 meter slide at your own speed. The experience of racing down a hill, combined with the amazing scenery Iceland has to offer, is the reason why this is such an exciting project. On average, there are 8,500 cars that drive through Kampadir every single summer day. That gives us around 19,000 people passing by each day. But due to the unpredictability of Icelandic weather, we estimate that we will only be operating for 22 days a month over the summertime. And we expect to get around 150 customers on each of those days. Over the winter time, we estimate that we will be operating for 10 days a month and expect to get around 50 customers on each of those days. 
Our main target group are tourists from the age of 20 to 60 years old. But every capable person from the age of seven can enjoy our ride. So we also plan on focusing on the domestic market with servicing both Icelanders as well as, well as foreigners. So our sources of revenue are div divided into three separate categories. The souvenir shop, the restaurant, and the track. From day one, we will be operating a small souvenir shop and the track, but after being open for three years, we plan on expanding our business, build a restaurant, and scale up our souvenir shop. So let's take a look at the revenues for only the track and track-related items. You might think that our only source is ticket sales, but that's not the case. We will also be selling photographs and videos of passengers enjoying the ride, as well as track-related souvenirs. Additionally, we will be selling advertisements on our slats. What company wouldn't like to have their logo on hundreds of slats next to Highway 1? You can ask yourself. Hmm. Um, these are our predictions for the first five years. We estimate that our total income will rise from approximately $750,000 from year one to nearly $3 million on the fifth year. We will charge 20 US dollars for each Sally Burner ride, but of course, children, families, groups, they will get a discount. So, the tourist industry is growing rapidly and Iceland needs to react. Our coaster combines thrill and nature in a way people have never seen before, but at the same time, it is affordable for the customer. These tracks have been set up in over 10 countries with successful businesses blooming around them. So to make not only our dream come true, but everyone's dream, we need investors. Our total capital needed is $1.6 million. And we have received positive feedback from a few of the Icelandic banks that it's possible for us to get a bank loan for approximately two-thirds of the capital needed. That means we are looking to you for the remaining $500,000. This will enable us to open Salibuna in the spring of 2015 and to run an exciting and profitable business. So please do not hesitate to come and talk to either me or any of my team members after the presentations and to get some further details. Thank you so much.